Welcome everybody back to another review. Terrell here to talk about the new 2024 2024 film Arcadian Arc Arcadian starring Nicolas Cage. Uh, man, uh, I always say when I go into these um, these reviews, and, and I, I mean it, um, I went into this blonde, um, no no trailers, no no nothing, no hints. Uh, I went into this, uh, went in, I, I saw a couple credits, I saw Shutter, and um, I instantly knew kind of where this uh, where this movie was kind of going to go as far as like the theme. Um, but I don't think I was prepared for what the overall plot of this movie was going to be. Um, and I'm not going to talk too much about that because if you are going to go see this, uh, this movie, which is a limited release in theaters, um, so check your local theater i believe amc is showing this but like very specific times um so like i said this is limited in theaters um an hour and a half movie uh not too long you're in and you're out um but like i said it, it, it definitely uh i think it definitely leaves its uh its impact uh, as, as you watch it um give you the overall plot not not no spoilers of course uh, a father and his twin teenage sons uh, fight to survive in a remote farmhouse at the end of the world. Um, so, as far as that, like we we really don't get too much as far as like where we are, when we are. Uh, they don't really give you a lot of like what's going on. You're just kind of the audience as as knowledgeable as some of the characters in this movie. Uh, for the people that are like born into this world that have no clue what's going on, this is pretty much like what the audience is. You have no freaking clue what what what's going on, how it happened, when it happened, uh, you know, so on, so far and so forth. Uh, this movie is directed by Benjamin Brewer, uh, written by Mike Nylon. Uh, Mike has also uh, worked with Nicolas Cage on various other films. Um, you've probably seen the. Uh, the the knockoff Five Nights at Freddy's, um, you know, Willie Willie in Wonderland, and then of course they came out with the Five Nights at Freddy's later. Uh, but he's he's worked with uh, Nicholas on or written uh, different things with Nicholas uh, and produced as well. Um, this movie also stars don't you know sm small cast, but I also want to also want to mention, um, like I said, Nicholas Cage, uh, Jadine Mar Jadine Martell, who's also um, he played uh, Bill. Um, on it, he was also in Knives Out, Saint Vincent. Um, so this young actor has definitely been building quite a resume, filmography so far. Um, and he definitely brings it a little bit more. We see a little bit more of his acting experience uh, in, in this movie too. Um, who he plays a you know a little bit of a quirky, smart character, um, but I think it definitely comes through very, very well, and it, and it pays off too in this movie. Uh, Maxwell Jenkins. Uh, he's also in this movie as the uh, other twin brother. Um, he's also known from, uh, he's in Lost in Space, the uh, Netflix series, uh, Dear Edward, uh, Joe Bell. Just want to make sure I get all, the, all these these young these young uh, actors' credentials here. Uh, Sadie Soverall, uh, make sure I get that right. She was just recently in Saltburn, uh, Little Bone Lodge, uh, Fate, the Wink Saga, uh, if you've watched that in on Netflix. Uh, a lot of people like that. Um, but those are like the main, I don't, like I said, I don't want to go into too much, but those are the main people that you see throughout this movie. Like I said, very, very small cast throughout this 90 minute run. Um, like I said, the movie starts you off, you know, you have no idea what's going on. You just know we're, we're in a world, um, and Nicolas Cage is in it. Um, and as the movie kind of like, you know, slow builds, like a lot of these movies do to the big reveal of what's going on, um, you're just like what <laughs> i feel like i spent a lot of the movie um because a lot of this is a um kind of a quiet place type movie not necessarily that that particular same plot but that's I'm, I'm gonna say uh similar to a quiet place where we don't know what happened when it happened what's going on um but the movie definitely tries to pay that off like to towards the end here um i really like the chemistry um of the father, father, sons, Nicholas Cage, and the two actors, uh, I thought that was pretty well, pretty well good. Uh, we didn't get, um, like I said, ninety minute movie, so we didn't get a lot, a lot of times I wanted on, you know, um, character development and just certain things. Um, I feel like the movie's biggest strength is also its biggest weakness. Um, 
it really doesn't give you a lot to go on. Um, unfortunately, like it's not enough time for world building and other things that I would have liked in this movie. A little bit more explanation, um, but that's kind of the magic of these particular type of movies is the less you know, the scarier it is. Um, I feel like the more they try to over-explain it, the less of a threat that it becomes. So obviously might have been intentional, but I, I just wish there was a little bit more that we we could have got. Um, like I said, I mean, the, the interaction with the other cast members here, um, not very much there, but it served its purpose. Um, not really knowing where we are in this particular world also is really scary because I'm like, are we out in just like the Netherlands or something? Or, you know, if, if, if you guys, like I said, if you watch this, I would say, like I said, I'm, I'm not doing any spoilers, but don't watch the trailers. I would say if you, you see it, grab a ticket for the movie, go check it out. Um, it's Nicholas Cage, so I'm going to support, um, like I said, but I went into this blind, so I had no idea what was going on, what I was going to get at the end of the day from this movie. Um, overall, like I said, it's 90 minutes. Um, I don't I don't feel like it uh, It overstayed its welcome. Um, it, to it, it told the story. Uh, was the movie great overall? Well, it, like I said, it, it just lacked some things for me personally um, that I would have wanted a little bit more of. And that may be just me being greedy when it comes to movies um, and just wanting the a little bit more of an explanation. Um, like I said, this is also a thriller, scary, uh, however you want to label this uh, movie. Um but like I said, the the less less is more, um, as as they always say. Um, but I think overall, I, th I think the 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 young actors here, I think they really carried the movie. I think they really did a good job. Um, I think the overall threat of the movie, um, the things that go uh, bump in the night that I won't I won't spoil for you guys. Um, they even they were just kind of okay. Like I said, like uh, we we've seen better. I mean, I'm assuming the budget for this is not too big. Um, this is set on like one location. We really don't have a lot going on here. Uh, we try to keep it real low tech. Um, like I said, it's it's not a lot of explanation of what's going on. Uh, but I do, like I said, I, overall, I do think the strength of the movie is the relationship between uh, Nicolas Cage and the Suns. Um, I think that that's really the most interesting part of the movie overall is is seeing them overcome um, overcome this this. This apocalypse, this apocalypse, or whatever is going on here, um, I think the movie really, really shines when you see like the brothers come together and like you, you really get that harmony of like like I said, the father sons and like everybody just understanding what what they need to do. Um, but everybody has their role here. Everybody um, definitely bring um, you know brings it to the to the table when it when it comes down to it. Um, but like I said, Ar Ar Arcadia, Arcadian. Um, I said it's it's a very limited movie right now. Um, if you if you really want to see it, it's Nicolas Cage. Uh, I, I do. I would say go to the movies and see it. You know, if you feel like you know you feel like you really want to be scared, but also feel like this is also just you can wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like this is something that if you if you catch it on the stream, like you, you wouldn't be too mad. But I do think the movie um, atmosphere would create a, a little bit more to to this movie. Just having the big screen, dark. XYZ, I definitely think it adds more elements uh, versus watching this at home on the stream. Um, but overall, uh, if I had to grade it um, offhand, I would say this is at least a six out of ten. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely worth watching. I, I said it, it definitely had my attention. I really liked the acting. The chemistry in the movie was really good. Um, I necessarily was I wasn't scared um, because of like how some of the reveals were, but maybe I'm just used to these type of movies. Uh, but like I said, overall, it's it's a six. It's, it's worth watching, but I don't know if it's necessarily worth paying for. Um, if I feel like I contradicted myself a little bit earlier, but it's like I said, it's worth watching, but not necessarily worth paying for. You can wait for the stream. Uh, like I said I really like the acting. Uh, overall, if you want to check it out, uh, leave me a comment in the comments below. Um, if you did had a chance to watch it, um, let me know what you thought about it. Were you on a similar page as me? Like this was probably something you could have watched at home, or you felt like this was definitely worth you know, spending those couple dollars on. Um, let me know what you thought about the overall things in the movie, the, the stuff that's going on. And overall, just like I said, just, just let me know. Um, but other than that, it's been another review for Arcadian. Like I said, uh, check it out if you want. Uh, I definitely think it's, uh, like I said, it's worth the, uh, the stream at least. 
But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next time for another review. Thanks for watching. See you.